In order to be sustainable, we have to understand the whole system we are working within. Here's an example of how things can go wrong if we don't. Some volunteers from an NGO visited a village in Borneo and saw many people suffering from malaria. So they arranged for the area to receive an aerial spray of DDT to kill the malaria carrying mosquitoes. The mosquitoes were virtually wiped out and the problem solved, or so they thought. As it happened, most of the cockroaches in the village were affected by the DDT too, but it wasn't enough to kill them. Instead, they were eaten by the local lizards, which became slow and lazy from the accumulated poison, making them easy prey for the village cats. The cats all died from the toxic buildup from eating so many poison lizards, and when they were gone, rats and mice began invading the village, bringing new diseases with them. To make matters worse, without the lizards to eat them, other insects began destroying the palm-leaved roofs of the village huts, leaving the villagers now exposed to the elements. And finally, the few mosquitoes that had survived the spraying rapidly repopulated the village, spreading malaria as they had always done. So now the villagers not only had malaria, they also had new diseases and a lack of shelter. So you can see how necessary it is to consider the whole system.